Hi, welcome back. Let's evaluate this expression. I'm going to start by getting rid of this big square root sign. Another way we can write square root is we can raise the number to the power of a half. So 3 root 2 Instead of the root sign, I'm going to raise that to the power of a half. And all of this is then raised to the power of four. Now this rule here tells us that if we have a number raised to a power and all of that is raised to another power, then that is the same as that same number raised to the two powers multiplied together. That means we can rewrite this as three root 2, all to the power of a half times 4. In other words, we have 3 root 2, all raised to the power of 2. This can then be rewritten as 3 to the power of 2, multiplied by root 2 to the power of 2. Well, 3 to the power of 2 is 9. And root 2 to the power of 2 is 2. In other words, it's 9 times 2, which equals 18. And that's our answer. It's worth noticing here that if you've got two numbers multiplied together and they're raised to a power, that is the same as saying those two individual numbers multiplied together individually raised to that power. This is shown here in this rule, except we worked backwards. OK, I hope that was interesting and useful to you. If it was, please like and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.